as the independent candidate is to represent you, the people of Bennelong. Not a party, not a special interest, represent you. As worthy as the special interests and parties may be, of course, but on a local, 40 years I've been in the electorate. I'm also independent, and I suspect the latter may be scarier for you than the former. Well, let's test that. Audience participation moment. Please put up your hand if you have never voted for an independent in the House of Representatives. Put up your hand if you've never voted for an independent in the House of Representatives. Okay, that's, congratulations, you're normal. Um, okay, while well, we with audience participation, please put up your hand if you are happy with the quality of government in Canberra during the last five years. Sorry. Put up your hand if you are happy with the quality of government in Canberra in the last five years. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, there you have my challenge. Many people share your concern at the quality of government, but many people are reluctant to change, reluctant to take on the duty of voting for an independent for a better outcome. So that's my challenge. So tonight I want to provide a bit of an outline about how I see my role as an independent representing you. But let me start with how I see the role of the member for Benelong. I see it at three levels. At the lower level, engaging, taking an interest with the forums, organisations and community groups that are the heart and soul of this electorate. So that would mean me engaging with the right business forum and the, um, the organisations that compose um, the umbrella. At the next level up, clearly representing Benelong, I need to be looking at the interests of the 100,000 voters and indeed the 150,000 residents. And at the higher level, in Canberra, I need to be taking action, making decisions, pushing and provoking for the good of the country. So when it comes to question time, very happy to take questions at Riot Business Forum, or about the area, or about the good of Australia. That provides some context. I haven't done this at any other forum, but I thought for this group, I'd give you a little bit of a summary of my business background. Again, so you'll understand the context of my answers to the questions, and also understand my credibility at representing the Riot Business Forum. So in short, actuary by profession, switched to general management, ran significant businesses, CFO ING Australia. I currently am on three boards. I play business advisor. Small business people come to me as a sounding board. I facilitate, I run workshops, the last one, running a workshop on ethics for the Institute of Internal Auditors. That gives you a flavour. So let's think about the 2nd of July. Let's think about my opening questions. Ladies and gentlemen, you have a choice this Saturday. If you're not happy with the quality of government, you can stick with the same traditional parties, the same vote, with, I suspect, the same suboptimal outcome. Or you can choose something different. Vote independent for someone that will make things happen for the people of Benelong. 